Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This is the third uh, group of stuff that was sent to me by Tools for Gents. Uh, a while back I said they sent me a huge box and I kind of had to divide everything up into multiple videos because it was just too much for one video. So this is the uh, third group and I have no idea what's, uh, what's actually in these boxes. We're going to share this moment together. We're going to share it, okay? We're going to share it together. Thanks so much to Tools for Gents for sending this stuff in. If you have not checked out Tools for Gents, I will link them right down below in the description. There's definitely stuff there that they have that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, definitely some stuff that I think is worth checking out. So take a look around. Uh, thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All righty. Both of these are called the Rascal. Green Micarta M390. I That is literally all the information that's on the outside of the box. And I know I have not opened it. He probably opened it off camera and is just protect. I don't know why. I mean, if that's, you know, if you believe that, okay, I don't know. I'm not going to go out of my way to convince you otherwise. But um, here's the rascal. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I do remember this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this this was actually one of the things that I was looking through and thought, that's neat. Okay. I think. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. It does lock. Ooh. Is it a front flipper too? Oh, it is. It's just like the lowest profile front flipper. What is it? Uh, something about this is really, really appealing. It's the fact that it doesn't show the pivot is hidden. Yeah. This is really cool. Um, I don't know where these are made. I don't know. It's just called the Rascal? Oh, this, You rascal. Who makes this? Um... Oh, it's got the Tools for Gents logo. So it's an exclusive. Are these titanium liners? Hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Titanium. Is there a lock bar in there? I don't think so. Just titanium. I, well, I'm assuming. It's it's fairly light. It's titanium. This is all titanium. Okay. I think this is cool. Titanium pocket clip. Curiously shallow position it's not terribly shallow but it is shallow very smooth action i mean like the action is legitimately very smooth uh unfortunately no major cutout in here this all should have been cut out but it that's okay i can still get at it right there's enough space there very easy to manipulate and again i i like that we have a titanium liner lock i think it's cool that it doesn't show the pivot I mean, you know, if you want to adjust it, then you got to take the scales off, right? Let's open the other one. I imagine this is just the same thing. Okay. Or is this like the titanium version? If it's a little, he it feels a little heavier. <laughs> okay, hang on. Yeah, he's a titanium rascal. Oh, but it's also. Come on out here, guy. Come on out. But it's also a uh, hidden, well, not hidden. Dang. <laughs> I, I like this. I like this a lot. Wow, okay. Um, I'm a, So you guys know that I love, nice. Everything feels good. It's clicky. I, I wouldn't think that there's just barely a, a unicorn horn. Just barely, but it works. The action's good. I think they should offer this in more, um, God, it's a Tanto, but with no, we don't get that typical line, right? We need to see um, other blade shapes because it, this, I don't know what it is about this, it's just clean. Mm, man, it's contoured too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember looking at this on their side and going, that would be really cool. It, it, but I, I, I it's, there's no way to know without handling it. I want to handle it and see if it's like, you know, the real business. Um, feels like it's made in China, but it feels like a premium 
Chinese production company. But I like the design. This is not so, I mean, it, you know, the micarta one's going to cost less. And honestly, the balance on this guy feels a little bit better because it's micarta. This guy is really, like, beautifully balanced. Man, what is it about this? I, there's something about this is just really nice. The ergonomic lines are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The pocket clip is flat. Not my favorite shape, but okay. Right? You see, oh, boy, you have a lanyard hole. Titanium backspacer. Boy, just feels good. I love it when it's not an exposed frame lock. There's a lot of handle material. There's a lot of total handle material. It's not a huge knife, but it just feels like something that's ready to, you know, such a knife guy thing to say. Such a generic, empty, such a nothing sandwich of a statement. Just feels like it's ready to go to work. Huh? It's like I'm doing one of those stuff that knife guys say videos, right? Um, yeah, I like that. I'd imagine the titanium one's going to be, you know, 50 to 100 bucks more than the micarta one. I have no idea what these are priced at, but I do like them. This is a chunk, man. I bet this thing weighs, it's got to weigh, I bet that weighs seven ounces. Let's weigh it. There's a lot of titanium on the big boy here. I didn't, man, I'm so happy that these are like well made. I I looked at them and I was like, I was kind of skeptical. Oh man, right on the money. He opened it, he opened it. Seven ounces. I'm gonna guess this one weighs four and a, four and a quarter, nope, four and a half. Ah, damn, not, not, no dice on that one. 5.11 ounces, um, but okay, what's the, uh, Let's find out what the length is here. Just doing a couple of measures. This is not a review, just an unboxing and first impressions. Uh, overall length of this uh, little rascal here. Ooh, it's a big, it's a fairly large boy. 8.3. This is about the same exact size as the Spyderco PM2. Yeah, just about exactly. I mean, we're at a, there's a little bit of curvature here so it's throwing it off a bit not quite eight and a half inches blade length let's do that real quick here blade length is three and a half I'd like to very quickly I'm gonna take that front scale off so we can get a good look at the pivot I'm sure it's just a flat screw but I'm just curious I just want to get under there for anybody who's still watching I know most of you guys drop off at like as soon as the as soon as the knife is shown, you, you drop out, and that's okay, right? But I just want to know what the uh, what the pivot area looks like. Come on now. Release. Re reveal your secrets. Uh, are we digging? I get a little nervous when the head won't go in. Whoever manufactures... Um, you know, tiny fasteners. These, the teeth need to be buried, right? Because if the teeth have have a super shallow, it doesn't matter how far in the head goes, right? It's the amount that the teeth can engage. And it drives me absolutely nuts to get a super shallow, not just a shallow fastener, but where the teeth actually engage. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was, right? Or not flat, it's domed off, but there you go. Uh, now, you know, the drawback to this is if you have to adjust the knife, then you have to take the scale off, right? Which some people are going to, you know, that's that's an end of the world scenario for some people. I mean, it's a bother. Like, let's let's be real. It, 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 it's a bother, right? But it's not something that, you know, I'm going to cry my pants over, right? I'm not going to, you know, it's not like, uh, it's not like somebody, you know, put hot sauce in my toothpaste, right? Um, all right. I do like this though. It's clean. Um, this, it wouldn't surprise me if, it wouldn't surprise me if Riot's the OEM here. I don't know. I'm going off first impressions. I mean, it's harder and harder and harder to nail that down because we got so many Chinese OEMs and I keep saying Chinese OEM because I just, I mean, it's, this thing is very, very clean and yeah, it went back together really easily and everything lined up correctly. Um, yeah, this is a cool knife, and I would really like to see 
God, that titanium one is awesome. Uh, I'd really like to see um, a drop point blade on this, just as an alternative. I think that's cool. I love how close you can get um, to the uh, the cutting edge. Really nice. Okay, uh, that's it for the unboxing of the Rascal. Uh, give me some time with this. I'll figure out everything. And you know, by the time you guys will watch this video and go do your own research, but it's you don't need to you don't need to take time to inform me in the comments. Uh, you're watching this probably a week and a half to two weeks after I actually recorded it. So I've had plenty of time to research it. Um, but if you want to inform other people, that's fine. I'll make sure that Tools for Gents is linked down in the description so you guys can check them out. Thanks again for sending these in for me to take a look at. Um, that's going to be pretty much it today. Please, let me scooch through these guys up here. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on the metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.